Okay, let's build a sandcastle. I think today we're going to do a frog on a log. So this will, we're going to have a log sitting here, and then a frog will be sitting on that log. Hence, frog on a log. So we're going to pack our sand down a little bit. <clears throat> it's been wetted a little bit already. So just going to get some water, put a little bit more water on that. So this will be our basic log. Make a little hole, put some more water in there. There we go, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now, to do this, we're actually going to use a form. Now, we could probably pack this by hand, but it would take a little longer, and it's, this is just real easy to do because you want something really nice and sturdy. And I sprayed the inside of this with a lubricant. You can use vegetable oil, WD-40, whatever you prefer. We're going to set this on here like that. All right, get that around. Now, put some more water in there. It takes a, quite a bit of water to do a sandcastle. Uh, if you want it to get really stuck together, you need to put a little water in there. And then you just keep adding sand. Now, I'm obviously not at the beach. This is in my backyard. Uh, my wife actually got me this uh, structure for my 40th birthday, which is awful nice of her. I think she did that so she knows where all I am all the time. My regular job, I'm a videographer, video producer. So I've been tra I travel quite a bit with my work, but with COVID-19, that all kind of crashing in. So now I can spend more time doing this, which I really love. Kind of bang around the outsides. That makes it nice and smooth. Have a nice smooth edge on the outside of this thing. So more sand in there. So cut the bottom off. Flip it over, put it down on the ground, pour sand and water in there, pack it in really good. Boom, block of sand. Right. Need a little bit more water there. The good thing about carving in your backyard, the water faucet is just right there. When you're at the beach, you're at the mercy of high tide, so sometimes you gotta walk quite a ways for your water. Now, when I go on vacation every year, I'll cheat. I'll take a hose with me. Shh, don't tell anybody. You can tell when the water is, sucks all the way in, that's about the good time to pull it off. Probably not before then, because sometimes it'll crack. So just wait. There you go. Okay, we're done, that's a turtle. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Let's keep going. So, all right. So before I get too far, I wanna make sure I got the log right. So the log, is gonna be about like that. And then same thing over here. Move this guy out of the way. So this particular project probably shouldn't take you more than 35, 40 minutes to up to an hour maybe. Just depends on how much detail you want to put in your, in your work. Okay, so I'm going to put some more water there. Like that. So that's going to be a log. Like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna take some of this wet sand, and he's got some hind feet back here. Let's put those there. You mark it a little bit, it can, it's easier to stick to it. There we go. So, a little bit more. It's gotta be back here a little bit in the back. I'm thinking just a little bit more. 
to, it's always easier to carve away than to add once you get going, once it dries out. Mark the other side, kind of where I think that's going to go. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to add some of this wet sand. Some more. Pack it in there. Whoop, there you go. We'll make sure we're back far enough. This looks like it's about right. And there we go. Some more of this wet sand here. Smoosh it in there, smoosh it in there, smoosh it. Smooshing is a good word. Okay, so what we're making here is the hind leg. Now for this, for this uh, particular carve, I'm probably just gonna use these, a couple of these knives, kick decorating knives, a straw, put that in my mouth now, and a uh, small brush. I'm gonna use this guy to rough this out a little bit because I want him to kind of be facing down a little bit. I'm going to put some sand up here for his eyes. He's going to have some really googly eyes. There we go. That's it. That's probably enough. And then you just get it wet in there. And then. There we go. Oh, he's going to have some big eyes. Again, we'll carve this back. It's kind of taps on it. Let it get nice and settled in there. My fingers. Sometimes your hands are your best tool. And we're going to offset his head and his mouth a little bit. Like that. I mean, he's already starting to look like a frog to me. All right. Uh oh. Well, that's okay. That that sand didn't want to live there, so that's okay. We just let it take that off. Now I'm gonna grab, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> it's a little muggy here in Charlotte today. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but the humidity is pretty high. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna make some round eyeballs. And I'll try to go on the other side <clears throat> so you can see what I'm doing. So just wanna kinda of round these guys out. It's a good use of the straw right there. I had a lot of sand I need to get out of there. Okay, now round that out. Now this eyeball over here must have got punched by some mother frog because it's a lot bigger. So we'll fix that. Okay, so we try to make these the same. So this will be my guide of this guy right here. And since I'm not really worried about the back, I won't do a lot of detail over there. So it's about one width of this thing apart. So I think about right there. There's to right there. There you go. Okay. Now, now it's one other thing. I'm going to scoop these down a little bit here. Scoop that out like that. Oh, that's not good. Make sure you clean your straw out. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of uh, sand. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there. I want to see those eyeballs. So I'm taking this, uh, just kind of making a little swoop there, a little arc. 
just like that. All right, now. I'm thinking he's gonna have a little bit of an attitude. So, putting his mouth in now. Come back, layer this in, like that. And just see how smooth that looks. It just makes it look finished. There you go. Now, let's say we give him some eyeballs next, okay? To do that, I like it using a tool like this with a point on it. Now, I, um, if you have children, I found some the other day in a craft store. There's some tools that look pretty much just like these, but they're made of plastic. So that means that the little kids, if they step on them or they get crazy with them, they're not going to hurt themselves. I mean, I don't think you're really... They're not real sharp, but I, I would feel better if kids were using plastic than, than metal. I have a set for my grandkids, so that ought to tell you something. All right, we're going to just start right here. And just kind of go a little circle there, and then I'm going to go here like this. I'm just going to circle my, my knife around. Just like that. Voila. Our frog's got an eyeball. <laughs> well, should we make a two-eyed frog? I think so. Same thing. Rough in a little spot there where you think you're going to be. Start your circle. Gradually go out. It's a real light touch on these knives. You don't need to do a... You don't need to put a lot of pressure. Just let the knife do most of the work. Alright, we're gonna smooth all that out. Well just put it right there. Put the other one right here. It's kind of looking like a hippopotamus now. <laughs> but that's okay. It's your castle. It can be whatever you want. There are no mistakes. So now I'm looking at his face, and I think this side needs to come over a little bit more. We're going to accentuate this mark right here. That'll add some character to him. Uh, he's probably, probably like right in here, so I'm just going to cut a hole there. And we're going to attach some arms to this guy right there. And then we'll come around over here and do the same thing. And the reason I'm carving this hole is so that when I put the wet sand in there, it will stick. So let's put some. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to put some other oh, just regular loose sand down here in the bottom. Well, if these are his front arms. So the basic leg is right there. So this, and then this is the log. Okay. Yeah, and it's got a round edge to it. And then we'll put some details on that later. All right, now, I need to get the other side now. Get his leg going down this way. Okay. log over here. Kind of run up against this big guy over here. 
This was done with big forms, a lot of, and a tamper. This took probably, well, it's probably four hours to carve this guy. This guy. And the lawn guys are here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go silent for a while. <laughs> Enjoy the lawn service. That was interesting. <laughs> I didn't plan on those guys showing up. Anyway, that's a frog on a log. High tide from Monkey. <laughs>